It's another Max Youth Rating Facilities and all our international versus over a 200 plus year simulation. The most requested one to date in the comments on our previous international versus Japan versus South Korea. That's all there is to say. Let's get going and see how we're setting up. If you've been here before, you know the usual drill, so please bear with me. If you're new around here, this is how we go. We go Japan, generated players, 200 out of 200. We go to the J League 1. We put a note on every single team, and we scroll across 20 out of 20 for every single facility. That is across the entire league. We then put a note on the second league, even though we don't give them the facilities, because they could, over time, with the generated players, get promoted and start to win trophies and of course i end up missing it so we've we started doing the lower leagues as far down as we can so it's japan versus south korea in this experiment and as you can see here if we go to south korea and just quickly show you the generated players 200 out of 200 and once again we go to the one the hana 1q k league and there you go all the max facilities across the board and that is what we're going to do of course there's a scoring system in place as well it's the amount of trophies they win over the 200 year simulation now of course most of the time we're in europe and we've got conference league europa league champions league the euros and the world cup well of course that's not going to be in effect in Asia, is it? The World Cup stays. Of course it does. And with Asia, we've got also the Asian Nations Cup, which is the equivalent of the Euros, I believe. So that is going to be worth three points for a win, five points for a win for a World Cup. Now, domestically, I've had a little look and we haven't got that much in the way of football manager. So, of course, we've got the Asian Champions League, much like the Champions League in Europe, is worth four points points now we have no conference league or europa league so we're two tournaments down so what we're going to do today is we're going to go through ballon d'or wins for our players and that is going to be worth two points per ballon d'or win not only that we normally have a system in place where we have if both teams from the same nation are in the final of a domestic competition it's a bonus point or if a team beats the other competing team in a final. So in this instance, say in a World Cup final, Japan beats South Korea, Japan get a bonus point. Well, today it's double bonus points. It's two points for every single time one nation beats itself or another nation in the final. That's all there is to say. We're going to start off as ever with a 50 year jump to see who can take the lead and get off to a flyer. Okay, so we're having a look at the shortlist and one of the things we like to do with the shortlist, we're going to go and look at the current ability and see who the best player in the world is. The game is lagging. We almost saw the worst player in the world. Jordan Bolter for Wolves is the current best player in the world. 24 years old, come through the Youth Academy. Have Wolves won anything? No, he needs to be signed. And quick, who, who gets first blood in the shortlist? This is just for bragging rights. And as you can see, Jang Sang-hyok for Bayern Munich, our Korean international, 25 years young, and he's got 189 current and potential ability. Lee Jia-jung for Barcelona, 196 potential. Did he get there? Possibly. Signed for 2.4 million from Seoul. And our first Japanese is Ryo Nakamura for PSG. Well, he signed from Benfica for 47 million. Benfica paid 5.25. Kumamoto lost him to Kobe for free. How devastating. And there we go then. We've got Shihi Ishii down here for Japan. We've also got Yu Min Sik for Man City, our Korean. And we're going to leave it there in terms of the shortlist. So, we normally start off in the Converse League, then the Europa League, then the Champions League. Well, it's the Asian Champions League that's that's all there is to say so as you can see here the competition reputation japan and uh, korea are second and third respectively the saudi pro league is first and because of the money i think saudi are going to run away with this one but they're not in this competition it's japan v korea let's go to the champions league and see who's winning okay so first up yokohama fm have managed to come runner up in the champions league now that means nothing in these experiments you get no prize for second place and let's start moving through the gears fukuoka Runner-up, Kobe, runner-up, all to Saudi Arabia. The writing's on the wall here. Kobe getting revenge on Al Nasser in a repeat of the final from 2025-2026. The following year in 2026-2027, they've managed to win the Asian Champions League. It's 1-0 to Japan. Yes, I very confidently said Japan without realising if it was Japan. It is Japan. Al-Hilal beating Kobe, and we're going through the gears now. Fukuoka, that 2-0? It is, it's 2-0 to Japan. Japan are on a roll here, but... Talking about on a roll, stopping that roll is Seoul, I guess. Sticking the boot in, Seoul. Japan, 
Oh, manager. Sorry. Yeah, I was going to say Soul's in Korea. Um, yeah, so 2 1. Soul. Something fishy going on. Uh, is there any other Soul puns? I don't know. We'll see. Kashima. Antlers. Kashima Antlers. 3 1 to Japan. We've got some winners. Here we go. FC Tokyo. No one needs to check that. That's obviously Korea. I'm joking, of course. In Guinea. Oh, I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm sure it's obnoxiously annoying. Japan. 4 1. Back to back for Tokyo. 5 to the 6. Jeju. Jeju. 6 2. Tokyo. Back. Tokyo. 2 in 3 years. That's 8 2. And Kobe. Make it 9 in 2071 Of course, we're on the 3rd of Jan. So when's the. When's the final? Second round. Second round, yeah, there. So it's in February. So when, when is the final? Let's have a look. Final first leg, final second leg. So it's in May. So we haven't got the 2073 final yet. So we're 49 seasons in as such. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I've started... I don't know which nation starts earlier. Is it Japan or Korea? Probably Korea. Japan? I don't know. Well, we can have a look, can't we? Actually, Japan's at the end of the season. And Korea hasn't started. So it must have been the start of the Korean season, I guess. But then Japan's season looks like it's over. Anyway, anyway semantics doesn't matter does it so it's uh, 9 2 to japan so far bit of a landslide let's go to the asian nations cup before we do that let's look at the world ranking so we've got japan in sixth and south korea in eighth which is fantastic to see within 50 years they have really elevated themselves to become some of the world's best right well i can't scroll down it's all on the same page so spoilers you can see who's there i've got the notes on south korea and japan of course so straight off the bat we have south korea runner up first tournament then they beat uae in 2028 so that's 1-0 to south korea then south korea making it 2-0 in 2048 against japan a bonus point or oh, a bonus two points as we've established then japan beating saudi arabia and iran making it 2-2 3-2 to south korea 3-3 for japan getting those bonus points back and then south korea making it 4-3 then 5-3 with another bonus point so that's two sets of bonus points for south korea 5-3 up happy days should we have a look at world cups I can't really scroll down much, but they're not there. The only time we can see anyone here is Japan with the hosts in 2046. Three in a row for Brazil to begin with. Fair play. Five in total so far. Anyway, right. So no World Cups at all. Ballon d'Ors then. We don't normally do this. Oh, it's the golden ball, isn't it? And where did we start? We start in 23-24. It's Mo Salah who took the Ballon d'Or in the early stages. And then we've got the Kylian Mbappe show for the next best part of a decade. Jude Bellingham got one. And we're just scrolling through. There we go. Toshihiro Katani for Barcelona. The 27-year-old Japanese. 1-0 to Japan. Not a lot else happening so far. Still nothing. And we're still scrolling. And that's it. So it's just 1-0 to Japan after the first 50 years. Well, as you can see, 9-2 to Japan in Champions Leagues. 1-0 in Ballon d'Ors. 0-0 in World Cups. And they're 5-3 down and an extra bonus point in Asian Nations Cups. So they are considerably... They, they are in the lead. Japan are. I by some distance but hey it's only 50 years we've got over 200 years in this experiment i think it's 224 i think ish so a long way to go for korea let's go another 50 years so the 100 years in the future will be just under the halfway point can they come back so looking at the best players in the world then and let's have a look at the nations japan goalkeeper for chelsea 183 uh, daichi takahata so that's disappointing that's very disappointing two more for japan Bayern munich and united then Korea, Seoul Jae Hyun, 179, 180. Then another Korean, then two Japanese. Yeah, then another Korean. Okay. So, yeah, in the high 170s, 180. So, what, where are they going to be in terms of world rankings? Well, Korea are now in seventh, but Japan are the best team in the world. Well, I think there's a spoiler for you. I'm going to say Japan have probably won at least one World Cup. So, we were last here and Kobe had won. It was 9 2, and Kashimura Antlers made it 10 instantly. Then Tokyo again, 11. Lots of runners up here. It's just Saudi Arabia. Niigata, that's Japan, isn't it? It is Japan. That's 12. Fukuoka, 13. Gimpo, FC. It's South Korea. Gimpo Citizen Football Club, 13-3. Uh, Fukuoka, another two. That's 15-3. Cerezo Osaka, also in Japan, 16-3. Osaka again, 17. Gimpo, 17-4, 17-5. Gimpo runner-up as well the most recent season. So Gimpo Cup pulling it back a little bit for South Korea. It's 17-5. It's not great, is it? The lead has extended from 9-2 to 17-5. So it's gone from 7 to 12. Another good hundred another good 50 years for Japan. But the Asian Nations Cup was where Korea were pulling it back. So can they keep doing that? Considering they are much further down in the world rankings, doesn't bode well. 
So we were last here. Was it 2072? It was, wasn't it? So we saw South Korea beat Japan. Yeah, we did. Of course it was with a bonus point. 5-3 up with the extra bonus point. Japan, the next, next tournament was Japan. 5-4. 5-5. 6-5 five, five. Five to South Korea. 7-5 to South Korea with another bonus point. They need, they need to rack up these bonus points. Japan beating South Korea. So it's not only 7-6, it's another bonus point. South Korea, 8-6. Japan beat South Korea. 8-7, another bonus point. Japan beat South Korea. 8-8, another bonus. South Korea straight away come back. They can get 9-8. <sighs> South Korea lost to Japan again in the final. It's 9-9, another bonus point for Japan. I think that's more bonus points for Japan now. And again, then South Korea beating Japan. Well, so we've got 10 apiece in the Asian Nations Cup. So 10 all. And we've got four bonus points for South Korea. Six bonus points for Japan. So they have the lead again. And Japan run up against Brazil in 2074, the first time we're seeing one of our nations in World Cup picture. And Japan beat France in 2082, so that's 1-0 to Japan. They lost to Ukraine the following tournament, then they beat Italy the tournament after that, golden generation in the 80s. Spreading, spreading into the 90s, that's 2-0. South Korea runners up here against Italy. Japan making it 3, beating Chile. And Japan most recently beating Belgium 4-0. They're running away with it. And in terms of the golden ball, then let's quickly just squeeze through this one. Uh, it was 1-0 to Japan up until this point, and it still is. South Korea, there we go. Kim Chang-ho for Real Madrid, making it one apiece. Ooh-woo. Ooh-woo Chang, 2-1. Athletic in Madrid this time. He's won it again. It's 3-1. Could they win it on Ballon d'Ors? You never know. It, Takahura and Mochi, Mochizuki, back-to-back, -back, makes it 3 all. Two in the last three years. <sighs> At the death. And Cho Hyun Byom, runner-up. Sad times. So that's what, three all on Ballon d'Ors? Japan are absolutely wiping the floor with them, aren't they? Right, well, we're at the just under halfway stage. We always say the halfway stage because it's a two, it's dubbed as a 200-year sim, but we always go a few years over the 200 years. And this one, I left this running overnight, and my little lad is finally, finally sleeping through so much better at nearly one year old. So, yeah, so we've got an extra 20-odd years for you, lovely lot. So there you go. Let's go to the end now. 2000. 240 summit. Oh, look at that. Dion Brannigan, 199 current ability playing for Atletico Madrid. Signed for 117 million from Liverpool. Some player. Second best player in the world is a goalkeeper. It's Hideki Oshima for Japan. Kim Su Hwan for Man City, a centre back at 187, 197 potential ability. He's only 24 years old and he's a perfectionist. Should get there. Generally should get there. 18.75 million pounds from Gangwon. Wagwon. Need a bit more money, don't they? It's not really... They've never really elevated the level of the league. And I suppose it's outside of Europe, isn't it? It's always going to be the case. The only way you can compete is financially, and that's Saudi Arabia. Uh, and Japan, Korea. Another two. Korea, Korea. Japan, Japan. So, shortlist. Much of a muchness. Well, would you look at that? The World Cup... Sorry, the World Ranking, currently, South Korea first, Japan second. You love to see it. Does that bode well for South Korea and their international recovery? Could they win more World Cups in Japan? We will find that out. Let's go to the Champions League first and sign that off in style. So we saw Gimpo win it and then Aleti had beat Gimpo in the final. It's 22.47, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. So we've got another 124 years from this point. So let's get cracking. Fukuoka, that makes it... Is that 18.5? No, it was 17.5 before. Yeah, that's 18. Saudi Arabia just walking away with it. Look at all the runners up as well. Kobe, no. That's 19. Tosu, 20. Not that many wins, to be honest. I thought there'd be a lot more. It's all Saudi Arabia. Still nothing. Gimpo. That's six. That's 20 for Japan, six for South Korea. And that's it. That's it. We're calling it a day there. Okay, so we we were last here in 2120 when Japan... We were last here in 2124. When did we come back? I'm sure South Korea beat Japan in the most recent tournament with some bonus points. Make it 10 apiece. Let's count these. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so it's 10 all. But we were 21 23, weren't we? Have I miscounted? But then I've, I've, I've written down here bonus point for South Korea. But the last time they'd won a tournament was against Iran in 21 12. The last time they got a bonus point was there in 2088. So I don't know what's gone on here. 10 all, anyway, from here. 10 up, 10 all. We'll, we'll, we'll get the score right at the end. Not that it's going to matter. Japan are on an absolute landslide at this moment in time. Let's just start rattling through this then. Japan, bonus point. Japan, Japan, bonus point. Japan, bonus point. What's that? 14-10. South Korea, South Korea, South Korea, 14-13. Okay, so 
All right. Two bonus points as well there for South Korea. Japan, bonus point. Japan, bonus point. Japan again. What's that? Three. So 17, 13, 17, 14, 17, 15. Bonus point, bonus point. 18, bonus point. 19, 20. That's 20, so it's 2015, 2016 now, South Korea. 20, uh, 21, 16, 21, 17, 21, 18, 19. Again, another bonus point for Japan. Another win for Japan. That's 22, 23, 19 there. 24, 19, bonus point. 24, 20, bonus point for Korea. Japan beating Qatar. 25, Japan, South Korea. That's one apiece. That's 26, 21, 26, 22. 26 23 bonus point japan 27 23 south korea 27 24 so south korea have been done and i don't think the bonus points are going to save them unfortunately what about the world cup then so yeah japan were four nil up in world cups and with korea being top of the uh, world rankings i'm going to expect for a few for korea but nothing's happened nothing's happened just runners up there we go 4-1 too little too late though up 5-1 6-1 6-2 7-2 Bonus point. Well, that's a formality, isn't it? That's a formality. Shall we have a look at the Ballon d'Or? So I'm just going to scroll through now. Japan. Japan, Japan. Japan. South Korea. Japan, Japan. Japan Japan again. They're running away with it. Iceland. Look at them. God, he won it a few years ago for Atletico Madrid. Interrupted by his teammate. Atletico Madrid must have done quite well in the 40s and 50s. Japan. Oh, Japan oh, it's just all Japan. It's all Japan. Right. I'm going to scroll to the top. I'm going to count through. And I'm going to just... You don't have to see me just keep saying Japan, Japan, Japan. Right, the Ballon d'Or's Ballon finished 31-16 to Japan. The Ballon d'Or's finished 31-16 to Japan. And everything else, we've got 26 in terms of the Asian Champions League, 27-24 in terms of Asian Nations Cup, and 7-2 in World Cups for Japan. Which means the grand total of all proceedings is... Editor J just put it up there. I can't bother to work it out now. I've written it down, but I could work it all out. But Edit J will sort it out and put up a nice little graphic. So there we go. Japan have won. Of course they have, because they won every single competition. I've even added on the bonus points. So God knows where that's going to get it to. But it's too much math for my little brain to handle at this moment in time. But that is what it is. Very highly requested on this. I hope it's delivered. I hope you've enjoyed it. Another one that's been requested massively. USA, Mexico, Canada in a triple threat. That's on its way as well. As well as... A database has been made for me by one of my followers or one of my subscribers called Kyle Legend. Andorra, Gibraltar, San Marino. Leagues in the game, 200 max youth rating. Some of the worst nations in football. So yeah, there we go. That's on its way soon as well. Other than that, there's plenty of other experiments coming on the channel. If you've got any ideas, let me know in the comments down below. Do drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new around here. And most importantly, gang, do take good care of yourselves. And I'll see you soon.